both Polani and Oral do really well in maths. They both do extension maths in school. I really enjoyed the opportunity to be able to challenge them and see how well they're performing internationally. I really enjoyed that they were able to be tested under pressure in a different scenario or environment to what they're comfortable in at school. And I think that this has really helped them to excel. Uh, they both were able to get their certificates with some of their peers who participated in the challenge as well. And it really affirmed for them and their peers that they are doing really well in maths and the school were really proud to have some of their students participating. Rodrigo has consistently demonstrated a natural aptitude for maths in school. Uh, his proficiency and ease with mathematical concepts have been notable since uh, his first years. However, what makes his participation in the competition has been uh, his curiosity and motivation to learn more not only uh, in mathematics, but also in other STEMs. I think it is quite common in school, especially in terms of math studying. Actually, if I say honestly, my child was not very much interested in math before, but once he started participating in IMC, the interest level was high. It was, means it was gradually rising. And now my son is very much interested to uh, solve the mathematics sums and uh, now I can say in other words IMC has raised the interest level in my son towards mathematics. Kira does really well in math. In fact, when she was little, she was always being very switched on with when it comes to math. She's quite advanced in her age. She was actually being tested as gifted and math is her strongest point. Alexander performs quite well in math extremely well actually. That's why Alexander was referred to the um, Mass Enrichment Program at the University of Cork. So for a 14 year old to go to university every Saturday to do math, we're quite proud. In school, actually she's quite good in maths. I've had no complaints and the teacher is like she's very good in maths and in general she's quite good. I, I would say in the top three in the class. Um, Lunis is very good in math, that's why the deputy principal approached us about um, the competition. He gets mad, I think he's gifted in math, and he loves it. So that's why we did the test. So my kids really like math in school, so they generally have done very well, and we've got very positive feedback from their teachers. Hussein is an A student. He loves math and he uh, likes it and he tries to practice a lot of it and he loves it actually. So it was not that much difficult for him. He does well. He's doing well currently and uh, he did well past also. He gets uh, A plus in all his uh, uh, math exams. Here in USA they will do math testings and uh, he gets every time 99%. So I think that is a good achievement. Daniel has had a love for maths and numbers from a very young age. He's exceptionally strong in subject and constantly performs well. At the end of each term, his teachers usually say, just keep going. Eduardo is pretty skilled and he does math in an easy way, sometimes a fast way. I believe that having the possibility to take the challenge to test his proficiency somehow pushed him because he didn't want to make mistakes in the test so pushed him to, to put more attention on average and spend more time than average in running the, the, the calculations and the, the, the test required to, to perform well. He's generally quite good. He's very dedicated and he understands concepts. And from the report that we get from school, he is around six months to one year ahead of his age in mathematics. Harasato is one of the brightest students um, in the year when it comes to GCC math. We've started the GCC syllabus in year nine, and so far he's coped it with it um, really well. He's always pushed himself, and I've helped him push himself to the limit. So even when things, when we're covering some things he's done before, we're ensuring that there are some questions which he will find challenging, some problem solving or wordy questions or whatever. But he's doing really well in math, actually. Things like these math challenges are a great opportunity for him to get more experience with problem solving kind of questions, which is what GCC are about in the UK.